Hello everyone, Space Shark here, and I've been gone for uh, quite a while, uh, so I was sick with COVID, um, I got burnt out, I kind of lost my creativity, and I just don't think it's fair that I did that to you guys, and so I'm checking YouTube today, and you guys got me to 200 subscribers a milestone I really never thought I'd see you know I do this for fun and thank you this is like listen 200 doesn't sound like a big number but it I'm flattered this is crazy and this is just a start from this point I hope you guys are gonna be along with me for the ride from here on out and I'm gonna do my best do my diligence to keep uploading for you guys you know, through whether it's thick or thin, uh, I will try to upload as much as I can. So, thank you guys for sticking around. A couple of you have been messaging me, telling me to come back, and I get it. So, I'm gonna be back for a while, and I will be uploading consistently for you guys again. And yeah, thank you again for 200 subscribers. Wow. Um. Today, I thought it's a good way to kind of ease back into, you know, my work schedule. I would do all the Overwatch heroes ranked from weakest to strongest physically and, you know, some of them that have their own powers and whatnot. You'll understand the list as I continue on with it. As always, guys, this is subjective. It is my opinion and it is in no way definitive. So if you want to flame me in the comments, go right ahead. But with, without further ado, this is the strongest heroes in Overwatch ranked. Thank you, guys. And we are here, as always, with our five tiers. In the lowest tier, we have very weak, average, can hold their own, dangerous, and godlike. Obviously, this will be very few in the top. You all know how tiers, tier lists work. This is my bread and butter. So I'm just going to plug randomly and just start from wherever. We're actually going to go Reinhardt. Reinhardt, I'm going to put in Dangerous. I, no, this is tough, actually. I'm putting Reinhardt in Dangerous. You get any uh, man in big hunk of a metal suit like that with a giant hammer taking out Omnix. Reinhardt is very dangerous. Don't mess with Reinhardt. Reinhardt's also my main. I love me some Rein. So... Here, I'm going to put him in Dangerous. Ryan, lore-wise and historically, has taken out Omnix on the battlefield, even though he's outnumbered. Um, but yeah, girlfriend's texting me. Sorry for that. Let me mute that real quick. Reinhardt will be in Dangerous. Lucio, we're going to go Average. So, in, I'll give my best explanation for all of them. Lucio, for me, is Average. Um, he's not physically strong, but... His kit kind of makes him uh, a little bit of a threat, but compared to these other heroes, because we're ranking them against each other, like if they were to face each other. That, that's how I'm ranking this guy, so keep that in mind. Lucio's average. Lucio would be um, one of the first of this of the people taken out. Lucio wouldn't last too long. Be our boy Lucio, DJ, average. May, we're going to go average only because of her um, her ice gun, obviously. Um, May doesn't really provide much of a threat to most of the Overwatch cast in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. And because of that, obviously, she's going in average. Winston is dangerous. I shouldn't have to explain this. Uh, big Gorilla go smash. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't really have to elaborate anymore, man. Lore-wise, Winston is, is very powerful. Not anything like supernatural. He, he's just a, a gorilla. It's just raw strength. So he's dangerous. Um, I'm gonna put on a. I'm gonna put on an average. Um, you know, physically very weak, but Anna does have a set amount of skills that can elevate her out of very weak into the average. I'm hoping I'm making sense for you guys. Like. This is for fun, so I hope you guys are enjoying the list. And if you are, like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps me out. Um, Moira. I'm going to put Moira and can hold their own. 
Um, I was going to put her in average, but Moira is a bit supernatural. Not necessarily supernatural. It's it's just everything she does with science. She has a fade ability where she can, like, leave our plane of existence and return. Like, it's like a teleport. So, Moira can hold her own. Moira 100% can hold her own. Arissa, she's dangerous. Um... Obviously can't feel pain. She's an omnic. As far as we assume. Um, and she's like a defense bot. Arissa kicks ass. You know. Um, there's just a couple heroes. Who we'll see later in this list. That could destroy Arissa. But yes. I have her up here in dangerous. Uh, Zenyatta is very weak. Zenyatta is very weak. So in game. Zenyatta cannot use his orb of harmony on himself. Taking that into fact based on how they play, gameplay wise, of course. Um, and Orbit Discord's cool and all, but uh, Zen, he's a glass cannon, man. High risk, high reward. That's how it goes. Uh, Farrah can hold her own, their own, whichever. Um, for obvious reasons, too. I mean, I shouldn't have to explain that Farrah can fly. Her mother is Anna. She's young, and she can fly while shooting missiles down at you, so. Uh, I think she belongs right here and can hold their own. Voice crack. Ugh. Ash can hold their own. Ash is the leader of the Deadlock Gang and has scored many, many, many heists with her boy Bob. I am going to include Bob as part of her kit. Ash is very dangerous. Not not dangerous as a category, but she's she's dangerous. she can hold her own. Baptiste is average. Um, I don't think Baptiste would last too long if if they all got into a fight. Wouldn't be the first to fall, obviously, but I would say Baptiste is, he's average. And guys, if, if the mic is fucking up, that's because I'm kind of like moving around into my chair a lot. So I apologize. Uh, Bastion, I'm going to put in, see, I don't want to help Bash how long he would last. Bastion's very one dimensional. I'm going to put him in can hold their own. Bastion can help put a lot of damage very, very quickly. But that's all he can really do, is just output a lot of damage. None of his abilities really help him with movement or defense. So he's he's pretty much like high damage, and then he's gonna die. Um, Brigitte, we're gonna put Brigetti, Bridget, however you wanna say it. Roast me. Um, she can hold her own, you know. Daughter of um Torbjorn of Vienhelm, and. Her godfather Reinhardt. I'm sure she's got plenty of training throughout her younger years. And as you can see in game, she's a real ass kicker. Um, she really is. So, can hold their own. Uh, Soldier 76 can hold their own. Now, Soldier has the skill set and the mindset to be possibly dangerous. He just uh, he just lacks the physical presence. He's an old man. Get off his lawn. Leave him alone. Um, so yeah, can hold their own. Sombra. Oh. Can hold their own. Um. What puts her out of being average is her skill set and her abilities. Um, but what keeps her out of dangerous is, just like Soldier, her physicality. You know, Sombra is a petite, young, skinny girl who, woman, she's a woman, <laughs> Who hacks can go invisible and can fuck you up if if you let her so definitely hold her own McCree can hold his own you saw it in the cinematic short reunion he took out the whole entire deadlock game including Bob by himself he is skillful so McCree can hold their own <laughs> Hanzo can hold their own <laughs> uh, man I'm gonna be jumping back and forth to these freaking cinematic shorts lore wise hanzo apparently thought he killed his brother i'm sure he's killed plenty of people over his years um being at the head of a gang and just like in the short he took out an entire dojo of enemies um hanzo's great he can 100 percent hold his own ah oh, doomfist god like i have to um doomfist is physically strong uh, he punched through a wall with his bare hand when he was locked in jail. Uh, need I say more? Um, he's also considered 
to have leveled a skyscraper with his gauntlet? Absolutely not. I am not messing with that. No, thank you. You may pass. Doomfist is indeed godlike. Zarya. I would say Zarya is dangerous. Wouldn't put her in godlike. So this is kind of the opposite of Soldier and Sombra, where she lacks certain powers and a skill set to be higher, but her physicality is there. Kind of like Reinhardt. Her physicality, it's there. She just lacks other stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what a way to return, right? Um, Torbjorn can hold their own. Listen, Torbjorn's small, man, but... Don't miss a Torbjorn, bro. Uh, Torbjorn is great. He, he He's strong. He has a great skill set. But he's not that strong, and his skill set isn't that good, if that makes any sense. Mercy, I'd put very weak. Mercy is not going to last too long. She can res people. But other than that, I don't think you're going to get much value out of her when it comes to like judging them on their strength and their power and see who's the strongest. So that's why I have her down here and very weak. Echo can hold her own. Are you kidding? Echo could fly. She can um, duplicate, take other people's powers. Sticky bombs, sticky grenades. Echo is definitely... Not dangerous, but can hold their own. Diva is dangerous. Um, lag physicality, but she's got a big mech to do the talking for her. So I wouldn't mess with her. And yeah, I think um, Diva's going to roll over some of these characters. So here she is in dangerous. I would put Genji. Huh. Put them in couldn't hold their own. Physically lacking, but has a great skill set. Very quick, very agile, and he can do devastating damage really quickly. It's just how much damage can he himself take before he falls? And that's why I have him here and can hold their own. Junker Queen, I had in. Hmm. Everyone can, can hold their own. Uh, there's just so many heroes in this game that are freaks of nature. And don't get me wrong. Junker Queen is a dominant woman. A very dominant woman. <laughs> Wink. Um, <laughs> but I just don't see her being dominant along the... The sides of like Reinhardt, Winston, Arisa, Sorry, and Diva. So I have the Dami Mummy <laughs> and can hold their own. Junkrat. Oh man. Um, he can hold his own. He's violent. He packs a lot of power with his grenade launcher. But I think his. His psychosis and his craziness kind of goes against him. You know what? I'll put him up here, bro. He has nothing to lose. Let's be honest. A man with nothing to lose is the most dangerous man. So he's up here with the big boys and dangers. Um, Kiriko, I'm putting in very weak. Whoa, that voice crack. For obvious reasons. Um, Kiriko's not going to do, do too much in a one-on-one -on -one scenario, especially against all these other heroes. So yeah, I have her in very weak. Uh, wow, Ramatra, the new kid on the block. I have him in dangerous. So Ramatra is an Omnic who uses nanobites. Was that what it was called, his weapon? His staff shoots nanobites. He can put up a shield. And then he goes into, was it nemesis mode? Something like that? Uh-uh, not playing with that man. He is going to be taking out most of the cast of characters on this list. So... I'll put him... I'll actually put Winston above him. And I'll sort these, but... For right now, I have him in second as dangerous. Reaper, dangerous. Uh, Reaper is an assassin. He doesn't care. He likes to cause violence, destruction, and kill people. I don't even think he can die with his current form. Reaper, the leader of Talon. Originally the leader of Blackwatch and Overwatch at one point. Um, we'll stop at nothing. And that kind of mindset uh, will get you far in <laughs> Reaper's line of work. So, definitely dangerous. Roadhog, 
dangerous when you weigh six or seven hundred pounds and you're seven feet tall and you're just gonna the world's gonna kind of just bend to you you know um go right ahead sir i'm not messing with you i mean he's lasting a, a very long time in a fight so i have not been dangerous uh symmetra i would put symmetra an average the only thing keeping her out of very weak is her light weapons. Uh, very high powered weapons along with her turrets for defense and her teleporter for escape. So she will last a decent amount of time. But eventually everything will catch up to her. What will make her very weak? Um, depending on the scenario, I guess you could move her up one. But from my point of view, she's not a character that's going to be on top out of everyone here. Um, wrecking ball. I'm gonna put dangerous. He is a wrecking ball. He flies into you very fast, and he shoots you, taking shield when you're by him. He can pile driver you, and his ball weighs a lot, man. That is a very heavy ball. Uh, wrecking balls appear in dangerous. Sojourn can hold her own. Don't have to go too descriptive with this one. She's a super soldier, kind of like Soldier 76. Kind of works in the, the same type of general area of how he how he would fight. So, can hold her own. Tracer average. Obviously, her, her blinks and her um, recall keep her out of very weak. Very skilled. She's a strategizer. And she gets things done. And in our first place of godlike, we have Sigma. Now, Sigma... I'm sure is very physically strong. But when you take gravity into the mix and you're lifting people, skyscrapers, boulders, anything you want into the air and slamming it down at will like you control gravity, bro, he made gravity his bitch. And that is why I have Sigma in Godlike. Sigma is, in my opinion, the strongest, not physically strongest, one of the most physically strongest, but power wise listen i take sigma if everyone was coming up against me i i have sigma's backing me up man uh i have sigma over here and got like um so i hope you all like that video i know it's probably all over the place um hopefully i want to get back into the mood of things and i hope that you guys enjoy me being back because i enjoy doing these videos and i'm sure in the next video or two I should be back and rolling with frequent uploads, but I really hope you guys did enjoy this, and thank you for watching so much. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share. Why did I say share? Like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. Until next time, this is Space Shark signing out. Goodbye. Cigarette ash It looks like snow